Travel back in time with a trip inside the Iowa's News Now vault. It's got all the makings of a Hollywood production. Lights, cameras, and plenty of action. Everything from satellite truck to camera. This is the final run through for tonight's hour long flood aid telethon. Some 280 stations from coast to coast will carry the program to benefit Midwest flood victims, all money going to the American Red Cross. And I think it's important because it's not a uh, problem that the Midwest is going to bear all by itself. Just to give you an idea of the magnitude of this event, this larger satellite dish was brought in specifically for the purpose of receiving live interviews with President Clinton and the American Red Cross President Elizabeth Dole. Perhaps what makes this event so extraordinary is that TV stations from all over the country are not competing but cooperating. Even some of the big names from the networks are joining forces and having fun. They gave me a free meal at the, what was Iowa it? Machine the shed. Iowa Machine Shed. I have never in my life. These are four pork chops. This is the match. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> our weather dance. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Weatherman Willard Scott and Spencer Christian are hosting the event, along with CBS sitcom star Jay Thomas. One of the good things about being an entertainer is. Uh, you, you get to do things like this, and it's a way to pay back people who've been so good to me. Satellite trucks, news cameras, and spectators are lining up along the banks of the Des Moines River, all prepared to capture this nationwide, first-of-its-kind television event. I'm Karen Hoskins reporting. Isn't that terrific? And we've been on the air maybe 20 minutes, so thank you very much. Isn't that great? Thank you. A tremendous outpouring of concern. That's how one Red Cross official is summing up tonight's flood aid telethon. It's too soon to tally up the numbers, but the nationwide broadcast prompted thousands of calls. Phone lines were jammed, and the donations are still coming in. They tell me the phones are ringing, ringing, ringing. People can't get through. And what we'd like your viewers to know is keep trying. Karen Harris is one of the flood victims interviewed on the nationwide broadcast. Red Cross dollars are helping her family recover. I think it's great. Anything they can do, you know. I mean, I think the Red Cross has done such a great job already, you know, and anything that they can, you know, anything that people can give to us is great because we, we can need all the help we can get. Actor Jay Thomas of the CBS sitcom Love and War hosted the program along with network weathermen Willard Scott and Spencer Christian. I've seen the incredible spirit of the people as they pull together to fight this thing and to try to rebuild their lives. So when I was given an opportunity to participate in this, there was no way I was going to turn it down. I I think it's a neat idea that they invited the weathermen because we're not responsible. I've, everybody knows we're totally irresponsible, but we are proud that Spencer and I both came here and the sun came out. Just three weeks ago, not many people would believe something good could come of such a tragic situation. But tonight, that's exactly what has happened. Point. And the phones are ringing like crazy right now. If you're having difficulty getting through, and I'm sure many people are, don't give up. Keep trying. And even the flood aid telethon made its way into some 62 million households on Thursday night. And viewers did more than watch. They called. So far, more than 58,000 people have pledged $4.6 million. The concept for this first-of-a-kind event originated here at Channel 2 with station manager Bill Anderson. I think we expected to have... Uh, um, a generous response from viewers. Um, I'm not sure that we could have anticipated uh though the, the range of the generosity and, and um, so we're just thrilled. Unlike many other telethons, this one was only on the air for one hour. During that hour, 750 phone lines were jammed with calls and nearly 24 hours later, donations are still pouring in. Did you expect this kind of an outpouring? You know, I did. This is how people are. People are generous and they're just, everybody's waiting to be told, how can I help? What makes this telethon truly unique is that competing television stations Join forces for the flood aid cause. The show was even hosted by celebrities from all three networks. The Red Cross calls it an incredible team effort. The longer range plan is to get all the stations that agree to do this once to do it again. Um, and uh, we hope to create um, a network for the American Red Cross. Karen Hoskins, Channel 2 News, Cedar Rapids.